Hey y'all, I am Victoria Birch, a first time mama to baby Aubrey, who's in her swing. I don't know if you can hear that rocking back and forth. I also have a little sister named Alexandra who has Williams Syndrome and we normally film videos together to raise awareness for Williams Syndrome, but today we're gonna do some mama talk. I have a question. What's the question? Yeah, I'm gonna introduce us from now on. We should have thought of that years ago. Yeah, I don't know why we thought about, didn't think about that years ago. That's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Okay, bye. Before we get started, make sure to check out our website, thebirchfamilyllc.com. We just dropped these precious mama t-shirts. I'm obsessed with how these shirts came out. I absolutely love them. I had to represent all the mamas out there now that I am a mom. Now let's get started with cloth diapering. Baby Bird is five months old and I have been cloth diapering for three of those months, I'm pretty sure. Two and a half, three months. So I have a lot of thoughts on cloth diapers. The main benefits of cloth diapering is to help the environment, to save money, and to not put so many like chemical... Yeah, tell them. Tell them, girl. Mm -hmm. Also, so you don't have so many like synthetic fibers and chemicals on your baby since they are pretty much in a diaper all the time. <laughs> since having a baby, I have really gone down this rabbit hole of toxins in our household and um, it's really opened my eyes to a lot of things and has made me a little crazy. So I have been slowly switching to more natural, non-toxic products. Um, for the most part, girlfriend, <laughs> I've been making a lot of our products. But anyway, that is why I cloth diaper because I feel like it is healthier for my my baby. That's just my personal opinion. I also have saved a lot of money by cloth diapering and I am trying my best to take the best care of these diapers that I can so it can last me through all of my kids. And so far, I, I'm obsessed. And then it also gives me peace of mind that I'm, I'm like never gonna run out of diapers. There have been a few times when she was a newborn when we were using disposables that I ran out of diapers and we had to make like late night trips to the store to get diapers and you don't have to worry about that. So there are a ton of different cloth diapers. There are hybrids, pockets, all-in-ones, um, covers, and it's very overwhelming. So I am gonna link a video in my description box that goes over all the different kinds that was really helpful to me. I think if you are beginning and you are interested in cloth diapering, I would get a few of each kind and play around and see what works best for you. I mean, you can get cloth diapers anywhere. There are buy, sell trade groups on Facebook that I am in a couple of those. I'll have those linked below. Um, you can get them off Mericardi. I've gotten some off there as well. You can get them off Amazon all sorts of places. The ones that I ended up going with that I really like are the pocket diapers. Now they are called pocket diapers because it has a pocket. The inside looks like this. Here is the pocket that you put an insert into. So when your baby goes to the bathroom, you take this whole thing off and put a whole new diaper on like you would a disposable. I like the pocket diapers because they're easy to clean. I like that you can customize these diapers and add like two inserts or add, you know, a cotton insert and a hemp insert to make it more absorbent. And then you just stuff them in here. Currently, I only use one insert for Aubrey, and a diaper usually will last us about two to three hours depending on how much she's pee peeing that day or whether she doo dooed on herself. <laughs> when I first got these diapers, I was so confused by all of these snaps. I did not understand how they worked. Girl, what you doing? So this is what the diaper looks like on. She is five months and 13 pounds. You have all these snaps so you can make the waist tighter or looser. These buttons down here are to make them longer or shorter. I think they look so cute that they peek out underneath her clothes. So this is not sponsored, but I ended up going with Nora's Nursery. It should be sponsored because I actually really love these diapers. The inserts are bamboo and cotton, which I have come to find are my favorite. I've been wanting to try hemp inserts Apparently they're very absorbent. There's also microfiber inserts, but I hate the feel of microfiber, so I don't like those. I stand corrected, these are not cotton. These inserts are 80% bamboo and 20% polyester, but still. I still really like them. Those are the Nora's Nursery. Now I do have some bamboo and cotton inserts that I also really like. Little Bird was five pounds and 11 ounces when she was born. She was so tiny and these cloth diapers literally swallowed her up. So I waited until she was about eight pounds um, before switching her to these. These are supposed to be good from 10 to 35 pounds and on their website they say like up to potty training age. I guess that's 35 pounds. I have a small baby so this will probably last her until she's potty trained. If you have a bigger baby, they do 
make bigger cloth diapers. They make so many cute prints. It's kind of addicting. When it comes to the price of cloth diapers, um, there are some out there that are so expensive. There's this brand that is so freaking cute, but uh, their diapers are like $50 per diaper. And then there are some that are really cheap, like $5 per diaper. That is another reason why I went with Nora's Nursery. I really like the quality of these diapers for the price. I think it's very well balanced. Also, they have some of the cutest prints. Now, I like things that are aesthetically pleasing. So if you are also like that, you will like the Nora's Nursery diapers. You can get solid colors. They have any color you could ever imagine. And they have really cute prints as well. Okay, now we're gonna talk about cloth diapering on the go. That is what I was concerned about when I started to cloth diaper, was like what to do with the diaper. You know, it's very convenient and easy for me to change a dirty diaper and then just throw it in a trash can. And I was like, <sighs> Ugh, how is this gonna work? However, it is actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be because I already carry around a diaper bag. So I just carry a wet bag and that's it. So it's really like not that more inconvenient. I just take the dirty diaper, put it in the wet bag and just carry the wet bag with me. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about how I take care of my diapers. When we have a dirty diaper, regardless if it's pee or poop, I will take it and usually immediately wash it because most of the time there's always like a sink near wherever I'm at. And then obviously I clean my sink very well. And right now she has like breastfed poo poo, so it's not gross to me. And once I'm done rinsing them and like squeezing the excess water out, I will go ahead and put them in the wet bag. Now I did just buy one of those sprayers that attaches to your toilet. So I can also rinse them in the toilet because she's five months old. <laughs> so in a month, we're gonna start introducing some human food to her. And then her breastfed poo-poos are gonna become a little more gross and I don't wanna rinse that in my sink. Now you don't have to do that. You can throw the diapers directly into your dirty bin because breastfed poop does dissolve in water. So you can put it directly into your washer if you want to. However, I have just found that it cuts back on the smell. I am really trying to take care of these diapers so they last me a long time. This is my little setup. I have this trash can that I got from Walmart that I keep open so like air can circulate through it. Otherwise, if it's all shut up, when you open it, it will smell so bad. So you want air to be able to get through the diapers. This is our dirty clothes and then this is for regular diapers. Now from the people I have talked to that have helped me with my cloth diapering journey, plus things I have read, you do have to be careful on what detergent you use because certain things will have a buildup on the diaper. People get a little crazy about what to wash their diapers in. I have found that Tide Free and Gentle works perfect for us. Now there is a website called Fluff University, no, Fluff Love University, I'm pretty sure. I'll have it linked in the description, but it has every detergent known to mankind and whether or not it's recommended or not or why it's not recommended or blah, blah, blah. Um, and Tide Free and Gentle is on that list. So, I mean, it makes me feel a little better. Also on the Nora's Nursery website, it recommends Tide Free and Gentle. So that is what I use. When it comes to drying the diapers, I will air dry them on like a, a clothesline with pins like the good old days um, or I will put them in the dryer on like the gentle low setting where the dryer doesn't get hot it's like very mild warm air that dries them anyway so then after the dryer I'll put them in a laundry bin and I will stuff and fold my diapers usually whenever I feel like it or just have to do it I don't necessarily love doing laundry but for some reason stuffing cloth diapers doesn't bother me. Like I'd rather do that than fold clothes. Now because I pre-clean my diapers before I put them in the dirty bin, I can go five or six days without having to do dirty laundry. I think a week is the most I've gone. Now if you're not rinsing them before putting them in your dirty bin, um, they say you need to wash them every two to three days because then they get really gross and I've heard they get moldy. How many diapers you need to have depends on how often you want to wash diapers. So I, I probably have about 50 diapers so that's why I can also go a week without having to do laundry because I have a week's worth of diapers but when I was looking everything up it said if you have a newborn you're usually gonna go through 10 to 12 diapers a day now if your baby is like approximately six months old you're gonna go through like six to eight diapers a day little bird is five months old so we probably go through eight a day also with cloth diapering you have to use certain diaper creams because some creams will form a layer in your diaper or they will stain your diaper or you can't get the cream out of the fabric of your diaper. Nora's Nursery does have a section on like approved diaper creams. I was already using the Earth Mama diaper cream or diaper balm is what it's called. So 
that's just what I continue to use. So Little Bird is cloth diapered all day long. She does go into a disposable at night. I personally use, I think it's Diaper, D-Y-P-E-R brand. It's a bamboo based diaper that I get at Walmart. I just found that that's just what works best for us because it is the most absorbent at night when she's sleeping. And I'm not about to wake a sleeping baby to cloth diaper her. Because if the baby don't sleep, mama don't sleep. Well, I hope this video helped you guys or helped someone out there. These are just the things that I have learned since cloth diapering. I have actually really enjoyed it. I don't know why it's enjoyable other than it is enjoyable. I will have links in the description box of videos and websites that helped me when I learned about cloth diapering because it's a lot to learn about at first. But once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. It seems very overwhelming but it is not you'll be fine thank you so much for watching this video remember to stay weird and I'll see you in our next one bye